Yo, what's up guys? John Boogle here. Today, of course, we got Little Island in-depth guide. Here we go. It's pretty much Manic Island and Craze Fish put into one level. And bam, you get Little Island. Here we are with the lineup. What you gotta make sure to bring is four stallers, five even. And you can bring ramen as a fifth staller or anything else. But ramen is pretty nice. So we're bringing that, but any other staller works as the fifth. Now, as you can see, we're bringing Thaumaturge here. You don't really need Thaumaturge at all. It does help a lot in the beginning when you're trying to stack up your cash without wasting too much, but you don't really need it at all. So don't worry if you don't have Thaumaturge. And as for crit hitters go, if you don't have Catasaurus, you can use other stuff like, of course, True Form Space Cat or even normal form space cat works you can go camera crit route and hope for rng that is always an option and of course there's always noodles as far as legends go there is some other stuff you can bring urinal wolf is pretty risky to bring in this level but the dps is just too good so if you want to risk it you can bring urinal wolf and of course we have craze bahamut do not bring awaken bahamut Craze Bahamut is the way to go in this level. And Little Nye is usable if you're not using Thaumaturge. So if you have an open space, you could bring Little Nye. And of course, the main carry in this level is Cyborg. Pretty much the main huge carry. Rich Cat is optional. It definitely does help in the beginning greatly. So if you're really struggling, you could bring a rich cat. Of course, in the beginning, it's the same thing as Manic Island and Craze Fish. You want to lure the little island and try to start building up an early stack in preparation for the next big wave. Now, you must be wondering why using a Ritter Wolf is so risky in this level. Well, what she tends to do is knock back the little islands, and when they knock back, they sink up. So, synced up islands is of course a very dangerous thing because they will in fact one shot whatever they are targeting so if they target your ramen all the time they are going to one shot ramen every single time and that'll be very easy for them to push through your defense and if they get through your defense they can one shot your legends when they're all synced up like that so that's why it's very risky using a runner wolf but using more stallers is pretty nice for this so you lower that risk but if it happens it happens oh well just make sure you have enough dps stacked up so you can kill the islands relatively quickly and you won't have to face that issue now just like manic island cyborg does have to be pretty high leveled for this stage minimum level 37 you can get by being level 35 if you are truly lucky with getting knockbacks all the time to save your units rather than kill them so if you get extremely lucky you can pull this off with lower levels but that's just not the way make sure you get cyborg decently leveled for this or you're gonna struggle very greatly and as you can probably tell in the beginning all we're doing is stacking up our large dps stack with cyborg Irunan wolf and of course craze bahamut getting ready for when we hit the base and when you hit the base is when you want to start sending out your crit hitters if you're using space cat start stacking them up early so you have a nice crit chance for when the metal hippo comes out yeah the only danger to look out for in the beginning is not being able to stack up enough dps to handle the waves of islands so if you're struggling on that part you just need more dps maybe adding mina to the mix can help out so so anything that you need to do to add dps to your dps stacking units make sure you do that whether that means boosting your cyborg or adding more units like Mina or anything, any other attacker that outranges the islands. That's why using Runner Wolf is so 
risky but so nice to use in this level because Ronin Wolf has very high DPS so that's why it's very nice to take that risk and bring Ronin Wolf in this level. Now like I mentioned before if you're using Catasaurus you want to start sending them out when the Metal Hippo comes out or when you hit the base. However if you're using Space Cat you want to actually stack them up before you hit the base initially and then once the Hippo comes out you'll have a nice stack of Space Cats and stack crit hitters means more crits, so less RNG. So make sure you do that if you are using Space Cat. And if you are really struggling with the islands during this part, Mina is pretty nice to use during this part. So if you don't want to use Thaumaturge to help in the beginning of the level, you can replace it with Mina and you'll have that for the second half of the level. But just keep in mind, It'll be a lot harder to stall in the beginning of the level without Thaumaturge. But having Mina for that extra GPS is definitely another way to do this. But everything should be pretty straightforward from here on out. Your stack should just be annihilating the islands while sending out your Catasaurus cycles should be taking out the Metal Hippo very easily. And before you know it, bam, Metal Hippo goes down. Now you're just left with a whole bunch of islands and that can be taken care of by just cyborg spamming or your legend carry so other than that you can still lose this level if you don't get your DPS stacked up quick enough for the next wave of islands so keep that in mind there are increased incrementals this level is pretty much manic island with the crazed fish boss so pretty easy level once you are prepared with your DPS once again, Cyborg minimum level 37 and you should be able to pass by very swiftly. Another thing to note, there is no Assassin Bears in this stage so it's not like Crazefish where you have the metal enemy and if you take too long to take it out, an Assassin Bear will come out. It is not like that so you have all the time in the world to take out the Super Metal Hippo. So keep that in mind. Some people see this as a difficult stage. Well, I don't really see it as that. It's pretty simple since there is no quarry or berserkery in this level. The super metal hippo is very, very stupid easy to deal with. And the islands are stupid easy to deal with with cyborg as well. So once you know what to do, it's very simple. It's not difficult at all. It is probably one of the easier little cats. I mean, all of them are pretty easy, so it's kind of hard to rank them. But this one isn't too, too difficult. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up this guide. Drop a like if this guide helped you out. Subscribe if you're new. Join the hashtag Google Gang. It's been John Google, and see you.